Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna go bye bye. There we go. <laughs> this is insane. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Origins. We're back at it again with another episode and by the way, I just want to say thank you so much for all the positive feedback you left on the last episode. I really do appreciate it. If we can go for the same thing, let's see if we can reach 100 likes. And here is the top comment from the last episode. If you want your comment to be featured, all you have to do is leave a comment down below and just pretty much suggest anything you want. And if I find it pretty cool, I'll post it on the video. And other than that, thank you so much for leaving comments. As as well if yours didn't get featured I still look at them and read them and actually consider to incorporate them into this series so yeah guys without further ado let's get started in today's episode as you guys can see I've done some changes to the structure of this building and pretty much opened it up a bit more so that we can get this farming done here properly and really make it look like the kingdom if you remember from the walking dead in the last episode uh, so yeah it's pretty cool actually the second episode because the third episode happened and that was kind of crazy let me know what you guys think about that and Daryl that was kind of whack so yeah it's pretty cool but by the way I am going to be working on a project in the next few episodes pretty much this pathway is going to lead to that building right there with a big iron fate uh, fenced in gate it's gonna look awesome I'm gonna really like it a lot hopefully it looks good it's gonna remind you guys a bit of season two of the craft and dead survival let's play it also it's gonna attach every single building here so you're gonna have towers on the side connected to this big pathway that's gonna be fenced in and it's gonna look pretty awesome we're gonna work on that in the next few episodes but today we're gonna actually explore something I've been working on a bit off screen it's pretty cool I gotta say so myself so I'm gonna show you guys right now pretty much we have a bridge it's the bridge I've been talking about and I actually been working on it a lot off screen and let me tell you guys one thing you have no idea how much I actually enjoy working on this world I just get so inspired from The Walking Dead I'm a big fan of it so this bridge is gonna be pretty cool we still got some ways to go with it but before we do that I actually have to get ourselves some fences crafted from the whatever wood we have left so the best part about it is we're not using the new update so we can use as many sticks as possible we got ourselves what is it 23 fences and not too bad do we have any more in here no we do not alrighty so we're gonna have to go out here and fight off some of these dudes uh, they're not too friendly Let's see what I have in my each chest by any chance uh, oh no, not my e chest. Like, I got used to that. I mean, a backpack. All right, we got some food. Not really any food besides uh, canned custard, which is new. Um, and other than that, we have a smoke grenade and some basic things. So we got to be really careful. We got to watch our backs here. And uh, yeah, we're going to go out here into the crazy world. Oh boy, this is going to be kind of scary. All righty. All right. And are we good? Oh, sweet. So this is the bridge, guys. I've been working on it. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section. Oh, what is this? Oh. <gasps> Yes, we, oh, no, that was not supposed to happen, but we did get ourselves one of these, uh, what's it called? The, uh, loot crate, so let's check it out, what do we get, what do we get? Oh man, a nightstick, you know what, I'm not gonna complain, I do need more melee weapons, I'm kinda happy with that. But we're gonna quickly work on this bridge a bit more, cause I really do want it to look kinda cool. Let me know in the comment sections, what do you think of this bridge, do you like it or not? Definitely wanna get your opinions on it, because, you know, I think it looks kinda cool, it's pretty simple. Um, actually, I'm thinking maybe... I don't want to waste too much here, but we're just going to finish at least this one side. And I think I did do a slight mistake, which it should be from here. It's going to go upwards, and it's going to look kind of like this. I'll show you guys right now. Hopefully, this works properly. I think it's going to work. Uh, no, it does not. So, we have to do this for every single one. Well, that's not too fun. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's actually kind of fix this quickly. Maybe it'll work out. Uh, so, it's going to be like this. Break that. Place it. Okay, not too bad. Making progress, slight progress, but it's, it's better than nothing. All right, and that goes like that. All right, so that's how it's going to look from the side. I like it. I think it's cool, uh, but we did mess up this area here, but I don't know if we're going to get back our fences. Oh, we are? Okay, we just got to be careful. Please pick it up. No, okay, well, there's one. Please pick it up. Perfect, and last one. Please. Ah, sweet. Okay, cool. So we're just going to start placing the same way we did here um, and go alongside it. We're only going to have, I guess, space for just one like that. Well, that sucks. We're going to get some more wood. We're going to work on it. It's going to be cool. That's the plan for today. We're also going to do a bit more exploring because I do need a lot of supplies. I'm running low, and I do not like that. So uh, I hear I hear zombies. There you are, dude. I, I heard you. You were sneaking up on me. 
I heard you, I heard you. All right, we're running low on this axe, but I'm just going to get some of this wood here. There's a horde right across the river, so we got to make this quick, get as much wood as possible, and just be careful. we got to be on the lookout because the walkers are really much more difficult um, from, you know, the updates. So it's really going to put uh, stress on us right here to make sure we get things done safely and properly. And a lot of you suggest don't do running. It, it attracts the walkers. And uh, you know what? I'm going to take that advice. I'm going to try to take that advice, even though sometimes I'm always tempted to go for a, a run through the woods. But, uh, you know, we'll see how that works out for us. All right, let's just close this here. Bam, perfect. All right, let's craft ourselves. I just want to be safe. That's why I'm going back here. Get ourselves some more fences going. So we got ourselves a good amount here. Not too bad. Alrighty, how many is that? Eight, we can do another. Oh, perfect. So we got 24. That's more than enough. I'm feeling good about that. So we can continue our little bridge here, which looks pretty good. I'm liking it. All right, so we got to add dirt blocks like that. And a fence there, break that, fence there, break that. Pretty simple bridge. Oh, come on now. You guys are ruining the fun. Oh, you know, you can't get it. I'm actually happy with that. We also have to create uh, entrances to this base because, as you guys can tell, look at these walkers. They're having plenty of fun. But we don't want that to be a concern for us, so we're going to have to make sure, uh, you know, we kind of block everything off and have... Uh, you know, really efficient type entrances. So it looks kind of cool. You know, that's the goal here. So I'm going to do everything simultaneously here and hopefully it works out for the best. So let's see if this works out here. I think it's going to be fine. I don't think we have enough wood. I think we actually might need some more wood, but it's not a big deal. Uh, we do have plenty of trees around here. Again, we're going to have to make our own farms maybe. I think that would be kind of convenient having our own farms inside one of these buildings. If not, we'll just use the forest for now. I can definitely work with that. All right, what did I mess up here? I think it's the top or the bottom uh it's the dude this guy is going crazy okay i think it was this like that right no i think i'm messing something up for some reason i feel like i am uh no that shouldn't be there i believe it should be like that there we go okay i was worried for a second hey buddy how you doing yeah it's not time for you to just hang around here really not that time <laughs> all right let's get this place almost done i think we're gonna be done with the bridge actually quite soon sooner than expected which is always a good sight uh but we do need some more wood and i don't have an axe all right we're gonna have to do this really quietly all right hopefully no one hears us hopefully hopefully these these uh, walkers are pretty relaxed right now doesn't seem like it we do have a horde on that side i'm gonna bank to the left here quickly get some of these actually wasteland trees because you know what? we're not harming any trees as much when we're just taking care of the wasteland trees because really they're just dead that's all they are right now so all right dude please don't attract anymore no don't do it not right now we got a crate what is this what is this what is this oh Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Now we get to see some action in here. Alrighty, back off, dude, okay? Back off, back off, back off. Okay, yep, there we go. You guys learned your lesson. No more, no more, okay? I know I'm wasting bullets, but I got it in this case. We got to get this wood. I think we're fine for now. I don't see anyone around us. The walkers are kind of low-key just staring at me, okay? But it's okay. They're not coming close to me, so I'm kind of happy about that. We just need some wood. Okay, I know, I know I look delicious to use uh, walkers, but uh, it's not the right time. I got, I got some dangerous ammo on me. But we do have to recoup, guys. We need to make sure we don't waste too many resources. We're not doing too good on resources, and we do have to build a storage unit. So it's going to be crazy. We have a lot of cool things to do. It's going to be action-packed for the most part. But you know what? This is enough wood, I think, for us right now to get ourselves this uh, crafting table up and going. I mean, our fences here. So hopefully it's enough. Please be enough. Please be enough. Let's see what we got here. 58. Okay, I can work with that too. And 18. That's plenty. So we are pretty much going to complete this bridge. And we're going to have the grand opening, which I'm pretty excited for because I think it looks pretty cool. I really do. So uh, what else do we have to add here? I think it's one more going like this. And bam. There we go, guys. The bridge is complete. I'm pretty happy how it looks right now. To be honest, it's pretty cool. We're definitely going to have to do a bit more to it. I'm just going to put those on the side like that. Um, and even if anything, we can close it up, but I don't have enough resources for that. So I'm just going to leave it like this and I'm pretty happy with the turnout. So I want to show you guys Negan's area that we're going to be working on in the next few episodes. But before that, we got to get some resources. So we're going to go on a supply run. Uh, and that's what we're doing right now. We finished off pretty much most of the builds and it's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool. I want to show you guys one thing that you might really enjoy. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Look at this. We have Abraham. The one and lonely soldier we lost uh, from, you know, Negan's little group there. Actually, little group, big group. So I am using the MPC mod, uh, which is actually, I had it for a while in Fear the Crafting Dead. And I figured, you know what, I should try to use it just to have 
you know, figures from The Walking Dead, characters from The Walking Dead, and display them throughout this world and make it look really cool. Now, this idea was actually taken from Matrix, so make sure you guys go check out Matrix's channel and series of the origins. He has a cool twist to his NPC mod as well. It's a bit different from mine. Mine's just pretty much displays of characters from The Walking Dead, but he's added a pretty cool idea to it. I'm not going to take it. I'm just doing my own little thing with it, so check him out, guys. It's down below in the description. So, we're going to go, and this area is going to be here for Negan, so it's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to be the, using the scene with the RV, and uh, when we've pretty much got to see everyone in the first episode of Season 7. Yeah, not a, not a fun episode for those people, fans of, uh, of Glenn and Abraham. So, I hope that's not any spoilers. I'm gonna, I don't know. I think, I think you guys by now have seen it, hopefully. Alright, dude, back off, back off. Okay, not, not in the mood. Alright, please be some supplies. Why are there no supplies here? Uh, I'm not happy about that. You know what? I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy. But I do have some bread, which I'm happy about. I do have a canteen, which I can fill up. And I do want to get some food. Ooh, I think I see some supplies maybe there. Uh, there's some more walkers. Nope, back off. Let's drink up some water here. See, there are walkers underwater, which is really freaky, guys. I have to be honest, that is a really freaky thing. Because just imagine, you're underwater, and all of a sudden you get attacked by a walker. I don't know if that's something in update that I missed out on, but it's pretty crazy. Actually, do I have any more mags? Oh, I do. So we do have enough mags for our weapon here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to actually store this on our back, so it looks pretty cool right there. So that's pretty awesome. Alrighty. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully there's some more supplies here. Hey, what's up, walkers? How you doing? I just need some supplies. I feel like I looted this place out. I feel like I did. But it may not be the case. We're just going to continue to just gather along, walk around to where we can find. I know we left our base kind of far back, but it's time to kind of explore. Like I mentioned, we need supplies ASAP. We're not doing too good here. Uh, what is this all about? We got no supplies? I want some supplies. Hopefully there's some more right across there. Actually, got to be careful. I don't want to run too much because then I'm in trouble here. I'm not going to have enough food for myself. And actually, if you can tell right here... Whoa, what's this? There's a big ravine. 46 zombies killed. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I got... Oh, no. What is this? Oh, shoot. This is... This is oh, gosh. No, 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 no. No, back off, back off. Reload, 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 reload. Reload right away, please. Come on, come on now. Okay. Kind of intense right now. Wasn't expecting that at all. Okay. That ghost is not friendly. I repeat, that ghost is not friendly. So, if you see a ghost... Run for your dear life, guys, because they're not going to be anything but friendly to you. So, alright, we gotta find supplies now. I'm not really liking this right now. This is this is not going too smoothly. So I'm gonna continue to explore in this direction, and I'm praying right now that we get some food. Hey, I got a seed, but I can't eat seeds, and I can't eat walkers. So I'm kind of in a jam right now. Where are the supplies? I definitely didn't loot up this far into the area, so I'm really uh, kind of... Uh, kind of confused as to why we don't have any supplies i'm looking for some supplies guys where is everything this is really weird all right we're going to continue to wander off in this direction i'm pretty sure we haven't yet seen much of this area so my guess is that we could find some type of supplies somewhere alongside here i'm going to go to that tower and see what we can find if we don't find anything we could be in a big big scenario of kind of a big threat right here um oh wait i do have some wheat Oh, perfect. Okay, so we have some bread. All right, you know what? We're not doing too bad. We have some walkers. How you doing, guys? I'm going to eat my bread, and I'm going to run away, so I don't want to be anywhere near you guys right now. So we can get some regen, which is just what we needed. Not too bad. We have two loaves of bread left, uh, which is homegrown from a beautiful house, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Uh, anything in it? Oh, there we go. Okay, perfect. That's what I'm talking about right here. That is what I'm talking about. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, MAC-10 ammo. Definitely going to need some ammo for weapons. We got to build up our stash. Desert Eagle. I'm happy with that. I'll take it. What else we got here? Rope. We can definitely do something with that. A power bar. We're going to need that. All right. A helmet. Army helmet. I'm liking it. I do want... Okay, P250. But I really do want some clothing here. Uh, but let's store some of this stuff in here. Mostly just the... Any items that we got. Farm food, syringes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, we can't store a Desert Eagle. It is kind of full, the inventory. I'm going to throw out the empty cans. We don't need those. Uh, let's see what else. Rope I'm going to store in there. The ammo clips, definitely going to be important for us. So I'm going to throw away this seed and put the ammo clips in there. Alright, let's switch out the backpacks. Do I, st actually, did I, uh, we have the vest. Alright, we can throw some things in the vest as well. Um, really that's it. We can actually store the ammo clips in the vest. That's a cool idea. See, I didn't think that one through. That's where the tactical vest with ammo is going to hold. 
And then here we're just going to store any other food that we might need. There we go. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to take that rag for emergencies. And we're pretty much okay to go. I'm going to throw that there. Alrighty. Let's keep exploring. So far, I'm pretty happy. We're finding supplies. We're finding goods. This is what we need because, uh, to be honest, we've been running low on supplies. And I've been kind of keeping my eye closed saying, you know what, we can probably pull off one more night. But, guys, it's time for us to really get crack a in here, getting some supplies because it's not looking too good for us with just how much supplies we have right now. It's not really too sharp. All right, uh, that's not good. Uh, I didn't see anything else. Let's go and see what's across this river. We are attracting quite a big herd here, but um, I'm pretty quite comfortable here knowing that I think we can get across this river, slow them down, and find whatever uh, resources we have in these buildings. Now, I'm not too far from home. It's down there, so I'm not getting lost. I'm, I'm comfortable where I am, so that's a good thing. But uh, I'm really hoping there is something here. Wow. This is a dried out area, guys. This is this is no bueno. This is definitely no bueno for us. All right, let's keep looking around. I mean, at least we found one tower of supplies. Uh, I'm happy about that. At least we found something. Why is there a creeper? Why is there a creeper there? Who knows? All right, I definitely didn't check out the desert biome, so we're going to be going into the desert. That's a new thing for us to say right here. I want to see if there's anything here. I know I believe they do add some type of buildings in the desert. If I'm not mistaken, there are some other cool things. So I'm, I'm praying right now that we get something from the desert here because we're not too far from home, but we're kind of in an uncomfortable amount of distance we're definitely gonna have to seek shelter uh for the night that's all i gotta say because it's uh it's going out pretty far from home and it's not too safe because there's a lot of walkers as you can see here in this biome but oh no there's a ghost nope not not dealing with that right now definitely not dealing with that right now and he's really determined to chase us i definitely have 21 ammo here so if he really wants to fight i'll give him one but i don't really want to go through that right now all right i'm gonna try to ignore this herd go down here have him go down the hill and see if we can find anything in this base here. Um, I really feel like that ghost is still following us, so I'm gonna kind of keep a lookout. Ah, no, we're good. We're good. He's kind of, kind of given up on us, which is a, uh, a big shock. You, oh, come on, there's another ghost. Ghosts are really, really freaking scary because they are not easy to kill, and that's why I don't like them because I'm wasting ammo on every single ghost I encounter. So that's something I don't want to get encountered with. So I see a building down there. I think I see one. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm more than certain we have not explored this area. I repeat, I'm pretty sure we did not explore this area. And I think we're going to find something. I I'm hoping because right now we're running low on food. We only have one loaf of bread and a protein bar. How is a fox going to live off of that? I thought I saw a building. Oh, there it is. Okay. Alrighty. Let's keep going. I'm definitely sure there's got to be something in here. There's got to be something here. If not, then we're really screwed, guys. Oh, sweet. There's something. All right. That's, that's progress. We found something. All right. Sweet. Ooh, a shovel. Okay, melee weapons I like. I like melee weapons because, you know what? You don't come often across them, so it's really good when you see them. Oh, med pack, guys. This is big right there. That's huge. That's really good for our medical facility. A fuel tank. That's going to be sick once we get ourselves a fuel, a flamethrower going. And we got open can food. We really do need... Uh, can I actually... Um, I wonder if I can... Um, how does it work? I think you can just hold it down. I don't even know how it works. Uh, is it right click? I don't know if you can convert this into a rag. No, you can't. Okay. But uh, I thought you could. That would be kind of nice. But we got some really good stuff here. I'm really happy with this. Surprised you can't store the fuel tank. I guess it makes sense. But uh, one big thing is open canned food, which is good because, as you can tell, we're running low on food. And I just mentioned that was a kind of a big threat of mine right there. So that's out of the way. Pretty happy right now. But I want to continue to explore on that side. I really haven't explored this side yet. And I have a good feeling we might find a big prison or something. A, just a tower. I just need some more things to find. Um, and that would be pretty nice. That would be a perfect way to end off today's episode of The Craft and Dead Origins. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I do see another tower. Hopefully, cross my fingers, we'll find something here. I already do see some loot. Oh, two towers. Even better. That makes everything better. So... Uh, can we get in here? Oh, I do see some loot. Oh, more open canned food. Perfect. Ah, oh, what is this? No. Uh, do we have our axe? Yes, we do. Perfect. Let's break in here. Oh, no. Let me in here. I need to get inside. I don't want to get killed by any, any walkers. There we go. And let's close that off. Perfect. And there should be loot somewhere under here. Yeah, there it is. What is this? Oh, an M9. Okay, so some more ammo or some more guns. Not too bad. All right, what do we got here now? Oh, stand grenade. Okay, that's what I needed right now. That's some more ammo for us. So we're feeling comfortable here. Blood bag. Now we're making progress here. Some uh, helmet there. What else? What is this, guys? What do we just get ourselves? <gasps> no way. We have a flamethrower? Wait, that means one thing. 
Wait, no way. This is insane. There's no way. There's no way. A backpack flame. Is this going to actually work? Guys, I think we have ourselves a flamethrower. But we don't. <gasps> Wait, I think I do have some actual ammo for flamethrower. No. Oh, snap, guys. All right, these guys are going to have a really bad day once they come across me. So I believe you can actually empty. Uh, yeah, put it in here. Holy smokes. This is only episode, what, five? And we have a flamethrower? All right, this is pretty sick. I got to be honest. This is a better way to end off today's episode because if, uh, if a walker comes near me, he's going to get burnt to crisps here. Oh, let's, sorry, buddy. But uh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to go. Bye-bye. There we go. <laughs> this is insane. Now, I don't want to use too much, but this is so crazy. All right, this is actually a big win for me. And we got a lot of buildings around here. So I'm a happy camper right now, guys. A machete. Look at this. This is some real, real stuff right now. More ammo. Guys, we're packing up a stash all right, milk carton. That's not even rotten. Look at that. Water bottle. That's actually full. Orange soda. That's actually full. And what else? Canned corn. That's what I'm talking. This is this is a perfect way just to continue this episode and finish it off right now. So I'm going to store everything in there right now. Everything we got. Perfect. All righty. And now we got to get this canned food. Don't forget about that. That was a big find. That was awesome. All right, let's get the machete in here. Let's get that. Give that some action. Uh, we have our weapon, flamethrower. All right, this is awesome. I'm going to make sure I save the flamethrower. I don't think it's an easy find, so uh, that's a big bonus for us. What else we got here? And we got armor. Okay, guys, this is an awesome day. We pretty much just stacked up on everything possible. And it's a 20-minute episode. We got handcuffs. What else down here so we can end off? And we're going to take shelter in this little, bung little bungalow. I don't even know what I was saying there. But we're going to get some shelter in this place. Um, I like it, guys. I'm going to just close off the roof here with some dirt. Perfect. There we go. Continue ourselves for a safe night out. And yeah, so if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit that like button. Today was an awesome day. I really enjoyed it. We did a lot of work. And you know what? We're pretty comfortable in this little little hut here we got going for ourselves. And we got a lot of supplies. We got a flamethrower, which is not too easy to come across. So I'm a happy camper right now. So my name is Alex. And if you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Peace out and stay foxy.